Hello guys, this is Jadeep Singh signing in. So the motive from today's uh, video is that we will learn how to restore system databases and why. So the reason behind restoring the system databases is can be depend on scenarios like if your server got commissioned and recently commissioned and you want to restore the old version of the server and you have that uh, data, uh, databases backup so you can do this with the help of system databases you will get to know that what are the jobs before and what are the logins we had before and various things what are the maintenance plan we had before so and there it's, it totally depends on scenario so we have the job or databases backup so we'll start this job okay so it will take few time so till then i am pausing the video so guys we are done with our backup system databases backup let's check so here we can see we have master model msdb backup okay and tempdb we don't take backup because every time whenever we will start the sql server tempdb automatically get created its new version get created so now what we will do we will disconnect this connection and uh, for master database we need to set the user in single user mode okay we need to set the services in single user mode so that no one connect at the time of master restoration okay so we'll check so we'll go to configuration manager okay, sorry, no. configuration manager so here we can see we uh, our services is sql server and SQL Server agent. So those are most important services in SQL Server. So we'll go to the property of the SQL Server. And in property, we can see startup parameter. So we'll write hyphen M. So it means the server will go to the single user mode. We'll apply. So to implement any change, we need to reboot the SQL Server services. Right now, we have changed the property, but we it is not reflected yet. Okay, so we need to reboot the, we need to restart the services. So I am restarting the services. Same time, I will connect the parameter new query window here. As soon as services got started. So stopping services. It will take few time. Okay, now it is started. So what I will do, I will do new query window. Okay. So it is, it got connected. Okay, that's great if it, it is not getting connected so we need to do these thing using uh, uh, cmd we need to do these things using cmd so now i am restoring restore restoring master database database master from this and we will put this here so if you want to copy the full path of the file you need to press shift and then right click so now copy as path this is the whole path we have okay done then to check the status i am implementing state equals to status equals to one okay now i am executing this file so our master restoration is done here so now I will change the status 
from single user mode to multi user mode at this time you uh, you can face various issue like your file is missing your uh, data whatever whatever thing it will return in error log so in our case it will be hardly happen so now uh, now we have started our services in multi user mode done refresh so now i am not starting my agent services there is a reason behind this i'll show you first i'll connect so so now we can see that our instance got connected okay so there is there will be few uh, there will be few uh, prerequisite we should uh, think of after before restoring master database that uh, the version should be same as before when we took the master database backup this is the most important thing to restore master database so now we are proceeding with msdb okay msdb so to restore the msdb the agent should be stopped why because basically msdb took the backup of all sql agent related jobs plus the backup history and various things so now we are restoring the msdb so restore database database name msdb msdb from this equals to here we'll write the path of the msdb same shift and right click shift and right click shift and right click control as this so okay remove the double quotes and execute okay now our master msdb database also got restored so now we can start the agent services So uh, an ML um, model we can restore directly. Okay, we don't require any extra require uh, any extra thing to restore the mo uh, model database. Model is just the blueprint of your new database. Whatever database you will create, it is a blueprint. It is the structure behind that. So you do not write, have to write each and everything in the query window or in the GUI. It will already set in MSDB. Okay. Now I am executing for model also. And done. Our system databases restoration is done. So I will tell you the summary of this. Okay. For model, we need to set the services in single user mode. After that, we can open the new query window single and uh, why we didn't start agent because start, uh, agent will restrict the job if any job will schedule at that time or extra uh, connection so that's why we didn't start the agent then we restore the master database after that msdb so to restore the msdb the agent should be stopped so that's why we didn't uh, start the agent also then we restore the msdb then we proceed with the model and for model we don't need to do anything we just need to restore the model so now we are done with the system databases thank you very much to listen to me and have a nice day